So you've imported your 1080p clip into your 4K timeline and you've got these ugly black boxes around the clip. How do you get rid of them? Keep it locked to find out. You got me falling. You got me falling. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this. The first way is once your clip is in your timeline, right click on your clip and then scroll down until you see set to frame size. Click on that and then bam, the black boxes have gone. But if we undo that and we right click on the clip again and we scroll down, you'll see that above set to frame size, there's an option called scale to frame size. If we click on that to the eye, it looks like it's done the same thing, but it hasn't. Set to frame size is better to use because it will maintain the original resolution of the clip. Scale to frame size, what Premiere Pro does is it takes the pixels of your clip and rewrites them at the frame size of your sequence. So if you do any additional scaling adjustments, you're not working with the true resolution. Here you can see two screenshots from the clip that I'm using on the timeline. One of them was set to frame size zoomed in at 300. The other was scale to frame size zoomed in at 300. I think it's pretty clear to see which is which. The one on the left was set to frame size because it's a higher quality image. And the one on the right was scale to frame size and you can see it's much more pixelated. So make sure you're always set to frame size. The next way to do this is if you don't want to do everything individually, go to preferences media and then next to default media scaling hit the drop down menu and then click on set to frame size click on ok and then now any clip you add to the timeline it will automatically be set to frame size and you won't need to do it individually and it's as simple as that if you found this video useful hit the subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one you got me falling.